in a market like India, where we have uh, UPI, where uh, MDRs are, are almost to zero on payments, payments is a loss leader. It is effectively a customer acquisition tool, which uh, ultimately gets monetized once we start doing lending to both merchants and customers and uh, other financial uh, distribution, product distribution. In rest of the region, payment does not necessarily have to be a loss leader. Uh, there are places, let's in Indonesia, where MDRs are high enough to make money on payment. So it's, it's horses for courses. Uh, different markets have different uh, models of monetization. Uh, but in case of India, yes, payments is a loss leader. Right, and how do you see the the expansion of, uh, and rather the just the growth that we're seeing in the buy now, pay later model? Um, you know, how much, uh, while there is growth happening there, what does that really mean for, for risk, for managing risk? Because we're talking about consumer credit growing, uh, and that's a space where, you know, checks and balances need to be put in place because household savings through this pandemic have actually slowed down. And it's not just an India phenomenon, this is a global phenomenon. No, absolutely. That's the main discussion. And we across the board, we are starting to see regulatory uh, discussions happening on buy now, pay later. In Singapore, for example, there were comments from MAS saying that they are looking into it because effectively BNPL is built up of what I would call stealth uh, debt in the consumer balance sheets. And that needs to be regulated. And it has implications across markets. Uh, we have uh, various schemes in India, uh, the aggregators, they, they need to share data in a particular way. Uh, in Indonesia, I was just having a chat with the bank. There was very, uh, there are different models of, uh, of managing BNPL, but ultimately it's an innovative product. It's a product which is getting sold. Customers genuinely want that product. So there's huge demand. So right now, regulators are basically trying to figure out how do you address that demand while also ensuring that the risk management is in place. You don't end up getting uh, any sort of uh, mishaps on the way. So that's a fine balancing act. My sense is over the next three, six, 12 months, we will hear a lot from regulators on different ways and means to regulate BNPL product, but that product is definitely here to stay.